Plus, we have an American company signing a major production deal with a Chinese company, and they are announcing it in a Fox Business exclusive right here. This show, Countdown to the Closing Bell. I'll be right back. Six minutes to go. Coming up, are electric vehicles the way of the future? One China-based company says yes. It just placed a huge order with an American company that's about to announce the deal right here on Countdown to the Closing Bell. Well, right now, Bao Kwan has 35 employees, but that is all about to change in the next five to six months. It is looking to hire 200 more employees. The reason? Bao Under Samra, the president and CEO of Bao Kwan, joins me now in a Fox Biz exclusive with a big announcement. What is it, sir? Well, we recently received an order for $16 million uh, from China-based company for our electric drive systems, which will be used to power electric buses, small to medium-sized inner-city buses, which will use their lithium battery technology, but U.S.-based technology of electric drive systems that we have been working on for past five years. Okay, and, that, and who is that company, that Chinese company that you've it's got? It's Winston Global Energy. Okay, Winston Global Energy. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, so what does this mean for you? I mean, does this encourage you that you're getting more interest in electric vehicles? And also, are the vehicles for here, or they're going to they're be in China? They're going to be in States. China. Okay. And uh, uh, we have been working on these technologies and demonstrating them in U.S. markets for uh, past three to four years. Mm -hmm. And it, it's a good size order to validate our technology and validate the commercial viability of our technology from a price point standpoint. Okay, I want to ask you something. Liz Clayman, who, who hosts the show, she was in Davos last week. She actually interviewed the CEO uh, of Renault Nissan, uh, Carlos Ghosn, and he told her uh, something very interesting. I want to play the, the, the interview soundbite for you and then get your reaction uh, okay. on the other side. Let's take a listen. I don't think that the electric car is going to replace and substitute completely the gasoline engine. It's impossible. You have 70 million cars sold in 2010 in the world. 20,000 20, of them were electric. So I don't think you're going to have all of a sudden, you know, electric car taking by storm the whole market. But what's important is to have an alternative technology, little by little, moving up and, uh, you know, arriving in 2020 at about 10 percent of the market. It's going to be a good complement to, uh, to gasoline fuel car. Bowender, do you think that, do you think he's right? Can you prove him wrong? Well, uh, there's certainly a lot of companies and technologies being developed to prove him wrong. I think uh, our initial focus remains on the commercial side, where we're addressing the short haul uh, applications, which we believe is 10 percent of the market, is less than 100 kilometers a day uh, globally. So that application is being addressed. I think the propulsion issue is settled. There is propulsion technology to power these cars or trucks or buses. The issue is battery energy, and we think uh, a lot of large companies are working on the battery solution, and it's just a matter of time, we believe, in a matter of next 18 to 24 months. Mm -hmm. Once that is solved, we will see much higher acceleration of adoption of this technology. You're also supplying Ford with 30-ton electric, uh, uh, electric uh, yard tractors. That is correct. I want to make sure I got that correct. So, so is that a, a relationship, the Ford relationship? Do you see that going further? Well, Ford has been on the leading edge of uh, green tech initiatives, and now what they're trying to do is go upstream in the process of logistics and manufacturing to reduce their uh, carbon footprints, and our trucks are being used as zero-emission uh, trucks to transport their containers and their goods in their manufacturing plants. And uh, we think uh, they are very serious about reducing not only the carbon footprint of the cars they sell, but also the carbon footprint of their manufacturing process. Well, Winder, thank you for coming on Countdown to the Closing Bell to make the announcement. We certainly appreciate that, sir. Okay, uh, Ball Winder Samra, of course, is the president and the CEO uh, of Balkwan. All right, the Closing Bell ringing. We now have about 17 minutes to go. How can a go